What's going on here? The folks are moving out, bright eyes. Why, this is my house. So what? So what? So Goodbye, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, goodbye, Jimmy. Goodbye. I'm sure I'm sorry you're moving away from here. I sure am going to miss you. Miss me? Oh, Mr. Kennedy, I heard my daddy say that he thought you were getting a raw deal and that he'd be a witness if you wanted him. Good luck. Mr. Kennedy. Hello, Miss Gabby. Mr. Kennedy, do you think your wife will ever get married again? Married again? Honestly, is your temper as bad as your mother-in-law says it is? My temper? Well, she says it's on account of your terrible temper that your wife's moving out on you. Oh, moving out on me, huh? Well, how silly of me. I forgot. You've been away on your trip for three weeks. Mm -hmm. You haven't heard the news? No. Well, don't say that I told you, because your wife's one of my best friends. But listen. Oh, so she's going to leave me, huh? Well, you don't suppose I care, do you? You don't like my temper, huh? Well, then let her leave. Only I won't give her a chance to leave. I'll put her and her mother and her brother out. You wait and see. Oh, Irene, if you promise you won't leave me, I'll promise never to lose my temper again. Well, Edgar, you sound very sincere. <laughs> so I'm going to give you one more chance. Oh, honey. Oh, now, but you've got to promise. Now cross your heart. Cross my heart, see? No, Edgar. <laughs> oh, Edgar, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, look, sweetheart, we can start all over again, just like we were before. Oh, Edgar, it will be wonderful to start all over yeah. again, won't it? <laughs> yes, it certainly will. Oh, oh, Mother, Brother! <whistles> mother! What is it? Edgar and I are going to start all over again, and he's promised never to lose his temper. Isn't it wonderful? Well, you must be out of your mind. Well, how can you take that bully back when only three weeks ago he almost broke Brother's jaw? Yeah. Now, Mother, there's always two sides to a story. I've heard Edgar's and my mind is made up. Now, if you and Brother don't like it, why, you have to be the ones to move. Oh. You tell him. <laughs> tell him? Tell him what? Oh, uh, what, uh... Just tell them how we're going to live happily together. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. But nevertheless, Edgar, remember, if you lose your temper just once... Oh, I won't. I promise I'll never lose it again. Well, I guess I'll go out and help those fellows bring the rest of the stuff in. Uh, all right. Hey, brother, mm -hmm. do you think that you could stand another sock in the jaw? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, listen, this is the idea. You get Edgar good and mad, he loses temper and suck you in the jaw. Then Irene will leave him and we'll be set for life. Oh, gee, Ma, my, my jaw's sore from that last wallop. Why don't you take the sock this time? Why, brother, would you ask your poor old mother to do that? Well, well, oh, well, now listen. But I don't want you to take the stuff out. Oh, you don't, huh? No, I want you to move it right back in again. Listen, brother, we were hired to move it out. If you want to move it in, hire yourself another crew. Oh, but wait a minute. Hey, 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 my vase. Give me my vase. Here, catch. Edgar, stop playing. Well, Eddie, you going to apologize? After all, I want to be friends with you. Friends? Sure. <laughs> okay, brother. I apologize. I won't accept your apology. See? Oh! Edgar! Where are you going? Oh, that's right. I guess I didn't take it upstairs. I left it in the living room. Left what in the living room, Edgar? Oh, uh, a little surprise. A surprise? <gasps> you brought me a present. Oh, just a little thing. Oh, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> and just when I was going to leave you, too? Aren't women the heartless thing? Ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Here it is. What is it? No, no, don't tell me. I want to guess. <laughs> no, I can't guess. What is it, Edgar? Well, got two hands and a face. We can't eat. 
two hands and a face and a can't eat. Uh, I know, a stuffed swordfish. <laughs> swordfish. We'll put it on the mantel. Oh, Edgar, another clock. Every time you come home, you bring a clock. Edgar, we've got six already. Yes, honey, but this one works. Uh, well, put it on the mantel. You know, you better hurry and bring in the rest of that furniture. We've got an awful lot to do around here. think you can make me mad, don't you, little clocky? Well, nothing can make me mad, not even you. Edgar, you fix the spare room for you and brother. Mother can sleep with me. Uh, Here now, there you are. You take them upstairs. Now be careful. Hey, Ma, get down a minute. I've got an idea. One more. Oh, Eddie. Yes, dear. You better take the carpet up first, then you can put the other things on top of the carpet. I never thought of that. All right. Oh, don't feel so badly, brother. You'll get a better idea. Just concentrate. Edgar, you shouldn't have brought the pillows and blankets downstairs. You should have left them up. Now you'll just have to take them upstairs again. Oh, Edgar. Here, now, take them right back up. Come on. That's a good boy. Look, Ma, once a sap, always a sap. There you are. Now be careful. Whatever you do, be careful. Oh, I hope nothing goes wrong this time. <laughs> How do you like that, Sap? <laughs> Edgar, remember your temper. Still, right away, I'll, I'll be right. Uh, I'll bet that'll get him more. Fine, you go ahead and get ready, and I'll send him up. Okay. Looks like rain. You better bring in Henry VIII. 
You better do as Mother says, dear. We don't want Henry to get rusty. <laughs> yes. Come in, dear. Remember your temper, dear. Why did I ever make that promise? Oh, uh, Edgar, don't you think it would be nice if you apologized to brother? Mm. <sighs> You're right, honey. I'll apologize. looking for some place to put it. Well, I'll take that. Uh -huh. Mother, I want to tell you how glad I am that from now on, you and brother and I are going to get along happily. Well, of course, it's all right with me, Edgar, yeah. but uh, I don't know about brother. Uh -huh. Only this morning he said he didn't see how he ever again could live in the same house with a cankerous old palooka like you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. You're not going to make me lose my temper. Edgar, what happened? Are you hurt? No, everything's all right. Oh, you broke the vase. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, yes, don't you see? If you can break an expensive vase like this and not lose your temper, then nothing can make you lose it. Look, Irene, in spite of everything, I haven't lost my temper. No. But I'm boiling inside. I may look calm and peaceful and quiet, but my nerves are on edge. My blood pressure's to the bursting point. I just can't stand it. And if you don't let me lose my temper, you're gonna lose me. Edgar, you can't leave me. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, Edgar. If you think it'll make you feel better to lose your temper, I'll let you do it just once. You mean it? Mm-hmm. And you won't hold it against me no matter how mad I get? No, nope, not just this once. Oh, fine. Oh, Mother. Uh, mother, where is Brother? Oh, he's upstairs. Uh, well, Mother, if you say that Brother's upstairs, well, then Brother must be in this room. Why, Edgar! Oh, Brother!